Hello class! Today, we will learn about plate tectonics. Did you know that all seven continents were once joined like a jigsaw puzzle? A German geophysicist, Alfred Wegener, introduced that concept that the Earth is like a huge jigsaw puzzle. This area gradually divided into seven parts that we now know as the seven continents. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the lesson with a drifting question. How continents were formed? The Earth wants a big supercontinent called Pangea. So what is Pangea? Well, the Earth we see today didn't appear to look like this, as it didn't even have a seven continents. But instead, one giant supercontinent called Pangea, meaning all lands was surrounded by a single ocean called Pantalasa. Then the great breakup began to happen, which is known as continental group, as the continents moved related to each other, appearing to drift together across the oceanic This theory was introduced in the year of 1912, as he explained the similarities between the continents. He showed us how the South American and African contain fossils like the Tosaurus in areas that match up across the ocean. He further explained it was a possible for these reptiles to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. Thus, we can say that these animals live within the rivers and lakes of a single giant habitat that later broke apart. Evidence for continental drift included the fit of the continents, the distribution of ancient fossils, rocks, mountain ranges, and the location of ancient climatic zones. Today, the theory of continental drift has been replaced by science of plate tectonics. This theory evolved from the two former theories. Continental, 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 continental. Today, the theory of continental drift has been continental, con, continental drift. Today, the theory of continental drift has been replaced by science of plate tectonics. This theory evolved from the two former theories. Continental drift theory and the seafloor spreading theory and was developed the first thing in decades of 20th century. But how? Well, Tremendous hit the pressure within the earth caused the hot magma to flow in convection current. These currents caused the movement of the tectonic plates. This movement causes mountain, building volcanoes, and earthquakes. Now that we already learned about these movements, we can now answer these questions. Which is true about the tectonic theory? A. Lithospheric plates move. B. Oceanic crust is slide over continental crust. C. Continental crust flows through the oceanic crust. D. Tectonic force causes the most damage in the center of the plates. In what place do tectonic plates interact? A. Centers B. Regions C. Reversals or D. Boundaries Which is not the main principle of plate tectonics? A. Plate movements cause continents to drift B. Tectonic plates move relative to one another C. Movement of tectonic plates can be prevented. D. Interactions of plate tectonics cause earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain belts. Which action is taken to reduce or eliminate the long-term risk to life and property from hazardous events? A. Freeding. B. Planning. C. Education. D. Hazard Mitigation. What does earthquake, volcanoes, and mountain buildings have in common? A. They are measured by seismograph. B. They are results of plate movements. C. They occur in pulse of wind. And D. They cause disasters. Again, this is Group 4 and see you to the next video.